the sixth law of success is the law of detachment, which is often difficult for people because we're so used to holding on and aggressively pursuing what we're looking for. But the law of attachment actually says that sometimes by letting go, we're more likely to get it than by forcing our way into the situation. In fact, if you have two people wanting something, whoever's the more detached is actually more likely to get it. Whether or not it's doing a business transaction or engaging in a relationship, if you're feeling desperate, if you're feeling that without something you can't possibly go on, you're actually in a very vulnerable situation. Where if you're in that sense of, you know, I can take it or leave it, you're actually much more likely to manifest the outcome that you're looking for. So we teach people that when they're trying to get into a yoga pose, instead of forcing their way, they just have this very easy, effortless, detached attitude. And they notice that instead of straining, by releasing, by detaching, they're actually able to get into that posture. So it reinforces that spiritual law that by not holding on so tightly, you often get exactly what it is that you're hoping for. What does the law of detachment say? It says that if you really want something in the physical universe, then you have to detach yourself from the outcome. A good gardener puts a seed in the ground, covers it up, then waters every day the ground with his attention, but he doesn't dig up the soil every day to see how it's doing, <laughs> right? So like that, you have to be process-oriented, not outcome-oriented. It means I'm walking this road but because I want to get there, but my real purpose right now is to walk this road because if I keep looking over there, I'm going to stumble at some point. Pay attention to what is and see its fullness in every moment. So in order to do this, be life-centered, present moment awareness. Remember that the only step that's really real in your life is the one you're taking right now. Okay, pay your attention to the journey and the destination will come. Okay, don't even worry when you get to the destination. They say a good traveler has no definite plans and has no intention of arriving. Okay, so be a really good traveler. Enjoy the journey. Don't stumble by getting all worked up about the, um, about the outcome. Just like when you're studying for an exam. If you're always thinking of what grade I'm going to get, when are you going to study? Focus your attention on the study and the grades will come. So one thing that law of detachment means is process orientation. Second is have intensity of desire but detachment from outcome. And that means be focused in the moment. This moment is as it should be and it's the perfect moment. That's also, by the way, how we activate least effort. And then also have an alert witnessing of the roles you're playing. And recognize that you're not the role you play. Okay, for example, somebody just now told me she was an actress. Okay, a good actor, a good actress has to play many roles. You know, so one day you're playing Cleopatra, and the next day you're playing Aphrodite or somebody else, and the next day you're playing Joan of Arc. But there's a part of you that says, you know, those are roles I play, that's not really me. Similarly, right now, your ego is the role you're playing. And in one day, your ego may play many roles. So, you know, I play the role of a father when I talk to my son. I play the role of a son when I talk to my mother. I play the role of a teacher when I talk to you. I play the role of a doctor when I think of a patient. And so my deeper part says it's my destiny to play an infinity of roles, but I'm not the roles I'm playing. I'm the spirit that plays these roles. And as long as I identify myself with the spirit, with the detached observer, then I enjoy the roles. And I play them with passion. Okay? But, you know, if you get so totally identified with your roles and the melodrama of the roles, then, you know, when there's something bad happening, you'll be crying. And there's something bad happening, you'll be laughing. As a person pays you a compliment, you'll be happy. A person says, you're an idiot, you'll be offended for the rest of your life. <laughs> so you become at the mercy of every stranger on the street. If you want to be empowered, then detach and become the witness of the roles you play.